And on the upside, you have Infosys, Dr. Reddy's, Bharti, Airtel and Divi's Labs, which is holding up quite well. Gurmeet Chadda is still with us, so let's just get a quick comment in from him before we head on to the next discussion. Gurmeet, we're going to talk a little bit about the auto sector now because Kotak Securities has written a quite a cautious note on the sector where they've downgraded the passenger vehicle space. Uh, are you cautious as well here? J there are, of course, a few pockets which are quite bright, the likes of M&M, &M, etc. But in general, how are you feeling about autos as we head into the new year? Uh, not, not really, uh, uh, Sonia. I think the, uh, you know, the feedback uh, from our clients who are large dealers also is that the propensity to spend is high. So there could be, you know, uh, also December is a year where the year changes. So a lot of people postpone uh, uh, the purchase uh, uh, in light of depreciation, in light of, you know, the resale value also. So December invariably is a slightly softer month uh, historically. Uh, Two-wheelers, we like TBS. I think uh, it, it's been a good turnaround in two-wheelers if you compare it to uh, Bajaj and and Hero, uh, you know, so so their premiumization and mix continues to do well. Uh, IQ uh, is likely to the production is likely to be ramped up to almost now 10,000 units, and their their plans of ultimately getting to 25,000 units by the uh, by FI24. Uh, the overall mix is good. I was looking at the uh, the margin last quarter; they were able to be in double digit despite all the headwinds. Uh, so that's something which has done well, and it's been a little more prudent uh, capital allocation policy as well. Their captive NBFC also seems to be doing pretty well, which is TVS Finance. Uh, m and you mentioned, I think, I think uh, if even if you see monthly sales, you will see the dominance which EVs and SUVs are having. Uh, so Tata Motors on domestic side and m, &M on the SUV side. I think I think they, are, they look set to recapture that 20-25% market share there. Uh, and uh, selectively some some auto ancillaries uh, and, and some correction has happened if you see from the peak uh, in m, m also or in some of the other names also. I mean, they're down about 10-15% already. All right, Gurmeet, thanks a lot for joining in and giving us uh, your views on a multitude of stocks. Uh, and before we let you go, couldn't help but notice, you know, the image of uh, the Golden Temple behind you. And it's also an auspicious day today. It is uh, Guru Gobind Singh Jayanti. So, uh, wish you, your family, all your, uh, uh, you know, people, your friend circle, the best of uh, wishes and uh, blessings before we wish you a happy 2023 as well. Thank you. Thank you, Manglam. Wish, wish everyone. May Guru Gobind Singh Ji bless us all. All right. Thanks a lot, Gurmeet, for joining in. Have a great one. Uh, well, the pre-opening rates have now settled, uh, settled lower by about 70-odd points. The Sensex is down 270 points. One sector that continues to be on our radar is autos. We are heading into a new year. There are a slew of new launches. There's also the auto sales numbers that come out on Sunday. Uh, Kotak Securities has a note on the auto sector where they sound very cautious. They've downgraded growth estimates for the domestic passenger vehicle segment to a moderate 3% from the 